2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Because of the abundance of the revelations, therefore, that I might not become too elated, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast most gladly of my weakness, in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Pride is an ugly thing, but God continually balances our pride and humility through the thorns that come into our lives. Paul was no exception. If we accumulate many blessings, we tend to become proud and lose sight of him who gave us those blessings. In this reading, we hear Paul speak about a thorn which came into his life because he was overjoyed. As we journey through life, we too will have suffering simply because we are human and our bodies have limitations and deteriorate over time. We have family members who at one time delighted us and now they break our hearts. Sometimes we bring suffering upon ourselves because we are thoughtless and or disobedient to God's laws. It is a wise father who releases his children to the consequences of their sin. Suffering is a tool God uses to build character. Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 5. When we walk along mountain rivers, we notice sharp rocks and waterfalls, which are similar to the problems of life. But as we walk along the lower parts of the river, we find polished rocks where the waters of life have been allowed to flow over them. Paul recognized that the thorn was delivered by a messenger of Satan, but it was God who allowed the messenger to deliver the thorn. Paul had asked the Lord to take the adversity away from him, but the Lord didn't. Why? Because thorns which come into our lives are gifts God has given us for a purpose. We often don't immediately see the purpose, but there is one which we must accept in faith. Paul had accepted the gift of the thorn with a submissive attitude. Being submissive to God while living in adversity isn't easy. The wayward child may bring pain into your life, but God's purpose may be to teach you how to love more in the face of adversity.